What was really huge about this trial in terms of the outcomes of the patients we treated is really how well the patients did. All of the patients entered into remission. For the patients who had systemic anaplastic large cell lymphoma, about 84% um, of those patients entered into complete remission. And all the patients with T cell lymphoma, which were the patients that we were actually the most concerned about, potentially maybe developing progression of disease, all of those patients have actually entered into complete remission. It's Study time in terms of follow-up is still relatively short. The study was actually completed in terms of enrolling patients about a year ago, so our median time of follow-up is still less than a year. It's about nine months. We have not had any patients uh, progress uh, during that time as of yet. And really what this study also showed is that this combination is very feasible to do. Um, patients actually tolerated treatment well. We did see some cases of peripheral sensory neuropathy, but really no different than what we saw in terms of prior uh, treatment trials with this agent in the relapse setting as a single or monotherapy. So it's not that the chemotherapy made any of these side effects worse. And these, in terms of uh, the comparison to, from a patient standpoint, in terms of the way my patients view it, if you could take a treatment and put your disease in remission, but it causes, let's say, even a little bit, some mild amount of peripheral neuropathy, um, that on balance is still uh, a, just such a huge win in terms of just being able to be doing well in terms of your uh, diagnosis and not being in a situation like many of our patients have been in the past where they're unfortunately dying of their disease at a, a early on time point from diagnosis, just within like a year, a couple of years time.